When we started the project, initially we wanted to do a truss-like design. However, after constructing various models and thinking critically about the current constraints which limited us, we decided it would be overly complicated and too resource intensive. As a result, we went to the Cable State Bridge. After a considerable amount of planning, the most effective manner in which to construct the bridge and consulting real life examples, we created our final design. An important aspect was the X-shaped central deck frame, providing a hole for the load spreader plate while distributing the load as effectively as we could across the multiple beams. Unfortunately, we didn't take into account that the laser cutter couldn't cut diagonally in the manner we wanted. This meant we had to change the deck design last minute. Now, because the laser cutting parts are off, we're having to kind of renovate our design by making the hole just a bit bigger um, so that we can still do the design we want to do in the first place. By failing in the laser cutting, we failed to create our ideal deck, which was sort of an X shape at the center of the deck. Another issue that originated from failing the laser cutting was that one of the plywood snapped in half, which we then had to glue together, which created a really weak spot in our deck, which is where it snapped. Because the pieces didn't fit together quite correctly at these points, we ended up having to tie string around the beams here, and we ended up binning this entire uh, cross section in favour of some um, beams that were laid like so. This is our first iteration of the equipment thing, but we think we're going to have to cut off the top bit because it's actually really hard uh, to make the hole. It's harder than we thought it would be because you can't really see what's going on inside to get it straight. Uh, and as you can see, it's a bit wonky, but we think it will be good enough for now. Now, all that was left to do is to put everything together and we'd constructed our bridge. In our second lap, we were testing our bridge. The first thing we did was attach the abutments to the tank using tie-down loops. And we'll sand in after we tied down all the string. We filled the tank completely, and then it was time to test the abutments. The part of the bridge which held up the best were the abutments, as there was very little deflection and they supported the superstructure well. We then began to assemble our deck and also attach the string to the centre to use the suspension element as a form of strength. Our bridge was the correct dimensions and so was able to pass the car test. We then loaded tested our bridge, which unfortunately ended in catastrophic failure. During construction, our deck snaps, forcing us to use glue to hold it together. This is what gave up when our bridge collapsed. Had we not experienced these problems, I believe that the suspension aspect of the bridge likely would have been able to support further loading. Bridge problem. I think that overall the design of our bridge was good and had the potential to work, but there were some faults in the execution. 